champion whose career appeared over late last year. But in an unexpected final act, Leighton Hewitt has rebounded and today plays for his first pro title in over two years. His opponent, an American, trying to win his first ever professional crown, Wayne Desnick, in the finals of the U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships in Houston. Two Americans with winning records on clay, mm -hmm. current players, and Wayne Desnick, one of them, and Ironic, the other. And Odesnik is definitely slow. Yes, I was about to say the same thing. He, he is a slow play. Time. I think his favorite player is yes, Hero in a way is Nadal. He, he does his best. He plays left-handed and it takes a lot of time. Leighton's been standing out here waiting for waiting for Odesnik. But he can understand from the standpoint that Odesnik Ready. has fought a long time to get to this moment. He wants to make it count. Yesterday, about how healthy it felt here. The ball felt like a, sh a shot put. Now the sun has baked this thing for a couple hours. Is it going to make it a little faster? Yes, it will definitely make it a little faster, which does help Leighton Hewitt. He hits the ball flatter. That'll let the, his shot go through the court a little bit quicker. Be tougher for Odesnik to grind. all your essentials here. Love the toughest the match you had was the quarters. Fierce three-setter with Isner. Jurgen Melzer was maybe the most impressive win out of those four. He played Kevin Anderson a big serve and volley or Isner a big serve and volley or Bjorn Pau, 29 years old. So Jurgen Melzer is a legitimate win and that's a surprising scoreline in that second round match for Odesnik. Pretty clutch second serve. Uh, Desnick felt the pressure of the first point of the match. Second serve, Hewitt ran around and hit a winner forehand, and he said, I can't allow him to do that again. Take advantage of a second serve. Went for it and connected. First game, you get an idea that Odesnik better put some first serves. Yes, which he was doing well yesterday, serving at 70%. So far today, he hasn't gotten that first serve in. And Hewitt's saying, I'm not letting you get by, just sliding in second serves. I'm going to punish you. But that was interesting as Hewitt thought, he went for an ace second serve the last point. He won't do it again here. I'm going to get a forehand if I run around. And that's exactly what happened. that disgustedly drops a ball from his pocket as Hewitt breaks to begin okay. the championship. Ah! Which is why Hewitt yelled out. Oh, there there goes. That's a gift. And his opponent's slightly down.
It's amazing how quickly momentum changes, isn't it? All of a sudden, you know, Todesnik has that look of disgust, <laughs> discouragement after he misses that forehand. A minute and a half ago, he yeah. had break point and had just won two games in a row and looked to have a lot of momentum. Take advantage. On the verge of the set being leveled instead, Hewitt will serve for the first. New ball, please. You see this great setting. It's a, you, you can't help if you're at all a baseball fan, you walk in and you think, man, this is like being at the Fenway Park of tennis. It drips with history, yeah. this, this stadium does. Greats have all played in one here. Including a few Australians, Rod Laver, there's Dan and Jan Duncan. Don't like the Desnick's yeah. body language when he loses a point like this. He throws his hands up as if to say, that's just too good. What what can I do? And I don't like that. He needs, if you're a grinder, you have to let the guy think, I'm here again. I'm going to make you play a point that well again and again, over and over again. Yeah. The Max Vilander style of play, really, where he might lose the first set but he's not worried about it. He knows eventually you're going to wear out. Leighton Hewitt first set. And Desnick made one nice push to give himself a shot by getting in it. But Hewitt held firm. And Leighton Hewitt trying to put his name on another trophy as the U.S. men's clay court champion. 